Hello friends, it's me Terhi here today playing with September hip kits and starting with um, extra large die cut from color kit and I'm um, focusing today for some specific products and those specific products are the Project Life cards which I adore but which are also really hard sometimes to include to uh, 12 by 12 scrapbook pages so I'm, uh, I'm showing how to in include those those to your scrapbook pages so what I first did was that I packed that uh, die cut file with beautiful patterned papers and then I cut out September word from one of the project life cards and now I'm using this uh, is it like one inch punch um, and I'm punching out those lovely colors this is also one of the project life cards um, and I absolutely love the colors but I wanted to use use it in another way than just uh, adhering it like that on the page so I'm punching out these you could actually use this as a stencil uh, now, now that there is lots of those uh, pretty round shapes but I'm using them like these um, I also cut some cut some um, other cards that flower one and that blue one and I cut that uh, blue triangle from one of the project life cards as well as uh, as well as that uh, yay for today phrase uh, and now I'm just layering some of the elements and using 3d foam to to um, attach the photograph and today as I'm not sure um, completely sure about um, how to design this page I decided to um, add one by one element one at a time and uh, not adhering everything on the background just yet I want to make sure that I get my design in the middle of the paper and I wouldn't get that in the middle of the paper if I wouldn't add the um, elements this way as I know that I want to have the photograph and frame it with one paper and then maybe some frame elements and that September word and then the card file and lots of stuff so I want to make um, this kind of huge uh, one thing which I can adhere it uh, to the uh, background page I hope that makes sense uh, I know that my explanations aren't perfect <laughs> every time as uh, well actually not even close to perfect but um, anyway I hope you understand and if not please just ask um, now that I have my huge element quite ready um, I need to add some thread on the background and I want to add quite a lot of thread because I know that um, most of that thread will be covered by this element uh, as you can see there are some some parts that are not going to be visible of the thread but I like the way that it, it's it's there there on the back it also lifts a bit that element which is nice and now then um, then I'm going to add these circles here and there it looks like a huge confetti pieces and um, I like the different colors there is uh, that beautiful wavy uh, pattern from one of the project life cards and the same colors are now in that all smiles die cut uh, because I I, re I used the same same pattern of paper as as the project life card design is um, so once I'm happy with these circles by the way I'm attaching them with 3d foam again 
because I want to lift them just a bit and those that are um, half or cut from some part I'm, I'm adding slightly under some other elements so that it looks like there is that uh, full circle even though there wouldn't be um, yeah so I'm uh, I'm designing if I would like to have that sept and ember or sept ember <laughs> it, it always looks a bit different and uh, a little detail I didn't cut out those P, e, B and R uh, middle areas uh, I, I like the way it looks when there is that dark blue color showing um, I recorded this video in, in the event I was a couple of weeks ago and that's why this uh, video is getting lots of different lighting angles and now it's much more dark than just a minute ago so sorry about that but um, I hope you get the idea uh, even though the colors are changing a bit so now that I have my main elements like this I'm, I'm ready to uh, add those embellishments which is always fun uh, I, I wanted to add that be happy die cut um, or a pomera part and adding some leaves and flower next to it um, and I also I'm not keen of using those creatures a lot on my pages like uh, bears or horses or cats or anything but this owl this beautiful sticker I, I just couldn't get over that one it's so cute so I wanted to adhere it and I wanted to adhere it with lots of pretty foam to make sure it pops up <laughs> from there not of course too much because I, I want to remember my my memories when I see this page but anyway that that was a perfect sticker and perfect design and now the last part is again a little bit uh, messing with some colors um, um, flicking some uh, watercolors here and there to make sure that I have smooth um, smooth going from white cardstock to lots of colors and, and I like to soften that uh, contrast some watercolors um, but I hope this gives you some ideas of how to use project lifeguards the idea is to simply cut them and layer layer them um, but as you can see there is also some of the cards uh, complete, completely like that and not used any scissors or paper cutters so that's it and um, I hope you will see you again soon thanks for watching and have a happy week bye